Hello, welcome back. Now today I'm going to be introducing you to the recorder that I use to make the videos. Now the recorder is called Display Recorder as you've noticed in front of you by now. Now the version is 1.3.14 uh, and it's not a very big package uh, and it has been created by Ryan Petrich. Now, I've purchased this package and I think it's probably one of the best investments I've ever made. Now, please be aware that many of you would think, hey, I want to buy this, where can I get it? Now, I'm afraid to use this application, you need to be jailbroken. Now, I'm using an iPhone, it's jailbroken, and if you want to know what that means, please do look it up on the internet. There are many, many good websites that talk about it and give you a lot of information. Now for myself, I'm only interested in jailbreaking for basically theming and for modifying my telephone so it looks a lot cooler than the standard uh, phone you get out of the box. But uh, jailbreaking allows you to install some applications that you can't purchase elsewhere and Display Recorder is one of those. Now it's awesome. Uh, it can be purchased here uh, through Cydia. Uh, and again when you jailbreak this is installed to your telephone and Cydia is a great place to go to uh, and the logo looks like this uh, as you can see I've got one package that needs to be updated now let's just close that off oh wasn't that cool the way I just did that okay we're going to have a look at what uh, the recorder looks like now the recorder buttons here there's a little red spot to say that I'm recording and no I'm not going to stop recording every time I record a video it's stored here and I can access those videos as often as I like and then copy them to my computer later in fact if I wanted to I could upload them directly from my phone to the internet but I don't do that because I want to add voice now when I'm making my videos I don't actually add the voice at the time of doing it and the option is there if you're using uh, your earbuds uh, or some other kind of microphone. Personally I want to be able to edit my videos, modify them on my computer, then add voice later. So I don't have that option enabled. Now if I go down to settings you'll see display recorder and within display recorder settings you'll see the first one there is the user guide and I'll open that in a minute so let's just cancel that. You can adjust the frame rate, you can lock it, you can fix the rotation, you can adjust the mode. Uh, there are many, many things you can actually do in the settings section. And basically it's a really useful place to go to. Uh, just to set up your recorder the way you like. Okay, let's open up the user's guide just so you can see some of the things that uh, he lets you do with his application. Okay, jumping to Safari. Frame rate. Adjust how smooth the animation of the recorded video is. Higher values require more processing power to encode and take up more space, but results in a higher quality video. Log frame rate. Rotation. Okay, you can read these yourself later. Video formats. Okay, MJPEG or AVI rec can record all apps, even those that use hardware accelerated video and audio codecs. Yay, okay. Ah, uh, video quality, adjust the quality of the recorded video, grayscale captures the display in black and white. Uh, open GL capture enables or disables capturing. Okay, scale, show taps, now I disable the show taps, I don't want to see the spots on my screen anymore. When I first started I used to use them but these days no. Tap size, web server, activation methods. Now for me activation method is a triple tap and when I do that the menu comes up would you like to record and I say yes and if I wanted to I can upload it straight to my YouTube account but I don't do that so let's just close those off and go back okay that's an introduction thank you and goodbye